are here already. Great. I am just about to feed all the animals on this entire shelf, so buckle up. And check out the view from this side. It's so sweet, right? So good. Um, the orb weaver from last video, she's still right here, but I have a lot of development in regards to her, so those updates will come in the next video. Today it is all about these enclosures and all the tarantulas and other animals that we have inside. I will feed all of them on the actual shelves. I won't be bringing all the enclosures to the table because that would just be uh, too much of a hassle and too big of an effort. Also one disclaimer, even though I say that we are going to feed all the animals on these shelves, uh, be aware that some of them won't eat, some of them will refuse, some of them are hard to feed on camera, especially these arboreal tarantulas that are mostly hiding and not, not outside. So yeah, even though it seems like there is a bunch of enclosures, uh, we won't be able to feed all of them on camera. But I'm gonna do my best to feed as many as I can. Now check the feeders. Tonight on the menu we have a bunch of hissing roaches of all sizes, you see. These are not the, the most common hissing roaches, these are the, the striped one, like this one. I use them in a bunch of my feeding videos, so they are common guests here. Also, I forgot to mention, we won't be feeding the ones inside of these small cups, in these small cups, and also in those cups. They are all already fed. We are just going to feed the, the bigger tarantulas. They are far more easier to record. I will start from that side, go up, then move on this shelf, go down, then move on this shelf, up, down, then these, and that will be it. Advertising Petco here with quick message. I restocked the web shop with more substrate shirts, rainbow or nata shirts, masks, brand new calendars for next year, and these brand new thick centipede shirts. So, if you want some, get some. Link in the description. Bye. So first you can expect some African tarantulas. These heavy webbers, you see. And first one is Pterinochelus lugardi. Even though you see her abdomen is kind of chunky. <laughs> I'm not really sure if she's maybe in a pre-mold, but only one way to find that out. With one small roach. Ooh, regardless of her chunkiness, you see she's still hungry. She still needs, needs to eat. <laughs> Which means that she's not in a pre-mold, she's just Fit. But okay, I'm pretty satisfied. First feeding attempt, first success. It gears up towards, it gears us towards a good feeding video, right? Let's jump to next African one, and that is another Pterinochelus. But this is Pterinochelus murinus, the other color form, the one that is not orange, but still equally mad. You see there is one leg over there. So if I bring a roach, like right here, ooh. <laughs> At first I thought that we will just get a threat posture, but we actually had a takedown. Oh no, why are you going inside of the tunnel? We cannot see as much, but we could see the takedown, right? I think that I will also open this enclosure, but I will keep this one open to see if there will be some development inside of this. We also have a Pterinochelus murinus, but we have the, the red color form that is actually orange. Whoever named it doesn't really know how colors work, but I don't really see the tarantula. I will first try to poke some with a leaf to see if we can lure a tarantula or not, but I don't see any movement. Mm, nope, nope, nope. Looks like no one is home. So we are going to skip that one and the other one is still over there. So we can continue with other tarantulas. Somewhere inside of this is Harpactira marxi. But also I don't see her. Maybe if we poke a bit. Nope, also nothing. Um, same thing. Hopefully this one will be lucky. Uh, this is the Harpactira pulchripes, and I can actually see her down there. At least, you see, the spinner, it's moved a bit. Oh, they are actually wiggling. This should be possible. Ooh. Oh, nice. Perfect. You can actually see the tarantula really well. Look at how gorgeous it is. Gorgeous takedown, nice. 
Let's briefly check her face right there together with that hair on top you see <laughs> so funny looking well thank you uh, mrs harpaktira pulhripes thank you for your appearance now well, this on the right is freshly rehoused ceratogirus darlingi i'm not sure if she will be down for a roach but i'm gonna ask nicely Ooh. whoa <laughs> that wasn't really nice of her but i'm gonna still try <laughs> the roach flew away what the <laughs> i'm just gonna drop it this time oh okay 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 that's that's food not not a threat you get it yeah it looks like she will get it now mm -hmm. there are a lot of tarantulas that are waiting in line for their meal come on hurry up you know what roach is probably just standing still and she is waiting for roach to move and we basically have a standstill situation so i think that i'm gonna move up and we will go back to see later if she grabbed the roach or not yeah that's the smartest now this one i won't even attempt to feed this one this is the who i cannot I, I don't remember the species name but this is the Afonopelma something. Bicolorato? No, that's not the one. Anyhow, ever since I got her, she never ate. And I think that she's in the primal. She kind of looks fat and everything. But I don't know. Hopefully she's not constipated. And that's the reason why she's not eating. I'm, I'm not sure. But as I said, ever since I got her like three, four, maybe five, six months ago, she's just sitting there doing nothing i mean not eating but this one will probably eat this is the the lacedora difficilis and <laughs> let's see Ooh. okay she feels the roach but the roach unfortunately went in the substrate i messed it up as usual so i think that i will drop another one and later on she will also eat that one once it goes out on a night stroll but this one will be smaller <laughs> there we go sweet takedown that is something that you can expect from this species okay on to next one now i'm not really sure what to expect from this one this is the hilobrahi species electric blue is the sweet one but it is somewhere inside of the hole so i will tickle it for sure and we will see where that will lead us Ooh, how deep this hole is oh there we go <laughs> okay okay grab a roach quickly oh yes 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 quick grab and retreat excellent just what we need in this video quick takedowns yeah but with these on top it will probably be a bit harder because there are some opeos species this is some opeos reduncus somewhere inside of that cork bark this one is Psalmopeus, I think also Reduncus, but a smaller one. And inside of this we have a Psalmopeus Irminia. Usually what I do, I drop them inside of the tube, the roaches, and then I hear the, the cracking of uh, tarantulas catching roaches. So I'm gonna do that now, but I will try to hold them above to maybe see a tarantula a bit. Especially this Irminia can be quite feisty, but it looks like yeah and i'm not sure if you could hear it but i heard a bit of struggle inside so she probably caught it now i will do the same for these two and the one on top these are empty enclosures just like those enclosures over there and that one and that one now thankfully this psalmopeus pulhead is actually outside on the glass so maybe if i open the enclosure really carefully maybe i will manage to feed it just like that okay Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 I was setting up the camera, didn't even realize that she could feel the roach above her. So there we go, a successful takedown. Just <laughs> close the enclosure before the situation escalates and great. You can actually see her munching on the roach. Actually, you can see the roach trying to escape, struggling to escape, but sorry, our little fella. You are going down, unfortunately. And right next to that pool head, we have a Psalmopeus cambrigae. 
This is the female that I paired a long time ago, but it seems like she just doesn't want to drop an egg sack. She's super fat and she still takes down roaches like it's nothing, so I don't know. I will also feed her now because she will most likely take it. There, you see? She's so feisty. You see how thick she is? It doesn't look super thick in comparison with terrestrial tarantulas, but for psalopeus, this is a huge abdomen. Huge, look at how this one got. Small, narrow, and slim. I mean, it is kind of freshly molted, but still, the abdomen of them doesn't really get that much bigger as regular adults. So I'm really hoping that she is gravid, even though, I don't know, it lasts for so long. Now these three, this is a psalopeus. Psalopeus pull her male, most likely, and it is in the tube. While well, next to it, it is Psalopeus, uh, Psalopeus, Pecilotheria tigrina veseli, uh, adult male, you see, it is quite small male, but I will drop a small roach. Oh, he actually fled, look at him. <laughs> oh, and the roach also fled, ah, what is this? At least I hope that you will take it down later. Make sure to do that. And this one, this is a Caribena versicolor. In order to feed her or to try to feed her, I need to take the enclosure down, just a second. This is the reason why, if you remember, she's actually behind the background. So in order to feed her, I will need to squeeze the roach over there. So I open the door and then I slide a little bit of this like that. Now we can also see her and we can approach her with a prey. Ooh. I just wanted to say that I hope that we didn't disturb her too much, but nope, she's not really disturbed. She don't care about that. She just grabs the roach. Excellent. With the arboreal section of this shelf done, we can move into terrestrial enclosures, but this first one houses Scolopendra dalmatica, the small centipede, uh, but she is always buried heavily somewhere inside. She actually got a line of tunnels that goes around, so there is really no point, no way to feed her on camera. Then if we move on the right, you see that there is a Lasiodora parahibana inside that is in heavy, heavy primot. You can see that by that black shiny abdomen. You can see that even though the abdomen on its own is dark, but you see those bottom stripes that are on this one that you previously seen, uh, the abdomen lines, I'll just blow. You see the abdomen under the hairs is actually white, but when it is black, like on this one, that means the tarantula will molt soon. So I can expect in next week or so for this one to be, to get a bit bigger. Now on the right, we have something that is not a tarantula, but these are the spiny assassin guys, or should I say spiny assassin bugs, to be accurate. I have three adults inside. One is over there, other one is over there, and the third one is underneath. You can see his antennae maybe. Yeah, okay. Let's check who is hungry. Who this one is or, or isn't. Come on, you tried. Is it too big for you? No, it's not. There. It grabbed it. Great. Thankfully, this one on top didn't interfere because they are known to sometimes do that. But look at this struggle. Whoa. The roach is really struggling to escape, but the assassin bug is not letting down. Okay. I have another one for you. Not interesting. Huh, okay. And this one that is hiding. I can see how it is feeling it, but nope. Hmm. Okay, one takedown is more than enough. Uh, underneath we have a Brachypelma classy right there. And this is one sweet looking Brachypelma. You see? Mm. Drop. Ooh. Ooh. That was quick reaction. Excellent. <laughs> Next one we have another Brachypelma. Oh, she's moving. There are a bunch of Brachypelmas following. This one is Brachypelma hamori. Ah, female because I have a male right next to her. Oh, action packed takedown. Great, 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 great. Can we get the same thing from the male? Ooh, 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 I failed on that one a bit, but he didn't, you see? He grabbed the roach. Great. Ooh, still playing with it. Okay, moving on. Brachypelma auratum. A really pretty tarantula. Look at it. 
a bit more discreet coloration when you compare it with Hamore. Seriously. Those are the risks of dropping roaches far. The benefit is you get a better feeding clip because Tarantula is chasing the roach, but if Tarantula does not react like the first attempt, then you get a failed feeding. Thankfully, she already got her redemption with a good takedown. And can I maybe get that roach? Ooh, yeah, I can. No. Ooh, ooh. Oh, will you also get that one? <laughs> Yeah, she also grabbed the second roach. Great! Now there's a takedown. <laughs> I hope that I caught it with camera. I'm not sure if I was pointing in the right direction. But great double takedown from this one. Can this chunky Brachypelma albiceps show us something better? Except her huge, huge booty. You are getting a small roach, you know? I don't want you to... Bastard. Okay, stay there. I will drop another one and then I will take that one out. What I was saying, I don't want you to burst like a bubble. You see? Still hungry. Now let me see if I can take that roach out. Ah, ah. This is a bit harder than I expected. Now you are mine. <laughs> Go down. My apologies for that disturbance. <laughs> now this Brachypelma baunganterni is usually the most skittish out of all, so I'm gonna be really careful with her, because she easily freaks out. Oh. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, thank you! She actually saved me from all the trouble of going for the roach. Excellent, oh and a bit of Bang action we have there and it is over now. Now we covered these two set of shelves and we still got this one and this one and this one. So we didn't even do the half of them. I have a feeling this will be very, very long video unless I do some dramatic cutting in, in the editing. But look at this one. This is Tocatl Kalembergi and this is the, the male, you know. She was gifted to me as a female, but then she turned out to change her mind and actually be a male. So, yeah, okay. At least give us a good takedown. <laughs> this was actually great, right? Oh, he's still struggling with it. Nice. Thank you, buddy. That was really good. Now this is the one that everybody likes. Everybody loves this species. This is Gramostola Pulchra, you know, the completely black Gramostola. And she's also kind of fat, right? You know what that means, a small roach. Now I'll put it right here. Hmm? That was too slow, I think. The roach is somewhere inside. Yeah, yeah, she can feel it. But can you get it outside? That's the question. That's the real question. Although I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to drop another roach. So we don't wait for too long there. She also got huge fangs, you see? Mm -hmm. I just want to touch her abdomen like boop. <laughs> She's not reacting. Boop. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Enjoy your meal. But careful with the legs. There. Another sweet Gramostola. This is Gramostola Acteon. <laughs> She's always down for some crazy takedowns. Ooh, you see? So crazy. <laughs> crazy and sweet. Loving that. Thank you. Here on top, I have a huntsman spider. I had three inside of these small terrestrial cubes, but I moved two inside of these bigger. So this one is still inside, but I will soon move him also in bigger enclosure. I, I dropped the roach. Can you focus? Yeah, I dropped the roach, but I wanted to take it. And in the meantime, the spider actually got the roach first. So I didn't actually record it. It was a takedown, but just wasn't a visible takedown. Oh. <laughs> I still have two more huntsmen to go, so we will get a takedown for sure. Inside of this one, it appears like it is an empty enclosure, but actually we have a Lasiodora difficilis uh, hidden inside. Right there, you cannot see it, but it is also in a pre-mold, and it is the same one like I showed you here, it is the same one, so no point into opening the enclosure and showing you because yeah 
no point into disturbing him. And yeah, it is uh, a male tarantula. Now this one is sweet. It is a Pamphobetius mascara. The one with real, really sweet abdomen. Currently it is really sweet. If you will be able to see it, it will probably go for the, yeah. <laughs> there we go, easy peasy. <laughs> you cannot really see the abdomen well, but you see it is kind of striped and yeah. Pretty cool tarantula. <laughs> Above that we have a lot of scorpions, so I'm not really sure if I even want to attempt to feed them on the V. Oh, no, no, no. You will want to go back inside of your enclosure, please. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, once again, you see a lot of scorpions. And but the problem is once you disturb them, they don't really want to eat in front of the camera. So I won't be bothering them anymore. What I do, I just dump a bunch of roaches inside and be done with it. But here we also have another scorpion and it is down in the hole. Even I cannot see it, it is so dark inside. I will get the UV lamp. That is always a sweet sight, you see. There's the scorpion right there. So I'm going to try to feed it like this with the lamp. Even though I don't know how I will hold a tweezers together with lamp and camera. Yeah, it will probably be messy. Let's see. Uh, Yes, now I can handle both things. The roach is going down. Oh yeah. This is actually a pretty cool shot, I must admit. I didn't really expect that it will be so visible. Look, you can even see the, the small pincer-like thing is catching the roach. Oof, so scary, so scary. Okay, <laughs> don't need this anymore. Actually, I also have another scorpion over there, so maybe I will need it for that one. But that is a long way to go. Let's see what is with this Formicoptus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right there. Oop. <laughs> and it's gone. Sweet, thank you. Uh, done with the rest of the enclosures over here. Now I can try to feed huntsmen, although they are all hiding. Great. I can just hope that this will work out. Yeah. Screw you, buddy. I know that you are there behind. That is the male. Maybe we will have more luck with female. Ooh. <laughs> That was quick. Okay, it was at least a takedown, even though we didn't see much. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, here I have a bunch of small mantids. They prefer flying insects, but I will try to offer them a roach. A flying roach, that is. And you, little buddy, do you want to get squished? Yeah, yeah, go inside like that. A bit down, yeah. Oh, it, it actually jumped. Pretty cool. You missed? There we go. I had to struggle a bit in order to get the, the mantis to grab the roach, but now it is munching on it. It is so hard to record it because the camera is struggling to focus. I am forced to manually focus all the time. Uh, yeah, okay. Thank you for your cooperation. I also just throw flies inside and they catch it as they fly around. Let's go back down to see if this Gramostoa pulchripes is in a pre-mold. This is a male and last time I think that he didn't grab... Oh, never mind. There is my answer. He is not in a pre-mold. But in fact, he is hungry. I mean, was hungry. He got his roach now. This one here is one sweet Kohiana brunipes. And I really love how it webbed just a small portion of the enclosure. Usually when tarantulas are webbing, they web the entire enclosure, but not this one. She just webbed her tunnel and that's it. Now she's just sitting there and waiting for her prey. So let's help her out with that. No, please don't disappoint. Mm -hmm. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Oh, it broke part of her web. She will need to redo that now. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now inside of this enclosure, you know, I have the a Drurus arizonensis or something like that, the, the desert scorpion. But I'm not really sure if you will be able to see him. Oh, I think that, oh, it is right there. Or are those parts of mold? Let me pull the enclosure out. Yeah, those are parts of mold, you see? They're all glowing. And also over here, where is the scorpion? I can see it down there on the other side. Maybe I can turn the enclosure on the other side. 
what am I saying? Of course, then I can turn the enclosure, but you see, uh, the scorpion didn't reach the glass on this side, so no peeking, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll just leave it be, and I see that this Dallas Pentaloris female is already pumped up for a roach, so... Ooh. <laughs> that was a bolt. Wait, 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 I will give you a roach. Don't, don't go. A tasty snack just for you. <laughs> Excellent catch, may I say. I, I think that we are really lucky in this video because we had a lot of successful takedowns, right? I think that this will be the biggest feeding video in, in quite a while. I don't remember when was the last time that I fed this many tarantulas in a single video. This is Neo Holotella in Tsei and you can maybe see it right there. Yeah, it webbed extensively and I'm not sure how to reach it. Maybe if I put roach here, maybe it will feel the roach wiggling and grab... I don't know, let's try. Yep. Okay, the roach is definitely wiggling, but I don't see torrential reacting like at all. And the roach is... Oh, oh, there was some movement. And maybe see it from here better. No, not really. In the meantime, look at this happy dance. <laughs> she is dancing her booty off. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, let's keep, let's just skip to next torrential because I don't think that this is happening. Nando Chromatus, she will be down for business. Like, no questions asked, you see? <laughs> Easy, but let's move up one Acanthoscuria. And this is Acanthoscuria musculosa. Ooh. One bolt Acanthoscuria musculosa. <laughs> but will she bolt for this? Roach, stop. Oh, oh, this was crazy. <laughs> and now the roach won't move, you see? So classical. As if he knows. He knows what a movement will do. Therefore, we need to poke. Come on, react, Tarantula. What are you waiting for? <laughs> there. Excellent. Xenestis Mega Scoptula. Like Mega what? Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. That was nice. And last terrestrial torrential on this shelf is this pretty, pretty, pretty. So the Hapalopus species blue. If only I could get it out, I will try. I will do my best. <laughs> roach. What is up with those? <laughs> what is up with these roaches jumping on the tweezers? <laughs> this was really chaotic feeding clip, but. I love it. I like it. <laughs> let's not waste any time and let's move to another one. Actually, I like this is also a terrestrial torrential or should I say fossorial. Even though her tunnel is pretty well closed off, but she's often out. And I, I love this enclosure. Look how, how pretty it looks. So pretty. Mm. A lot of substance for a torrential that it digs a lot. And you see, it is definitely worth it. Uh, let's try drop something in. Oof. Ah, okay, whatever. Let's feed this avicularia avicularia. It's right there. The pink toe with nice pink toes, you see. But is she hungry toe? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Look at her eyes. Huh. Pretty cool. Enjoy that roach. I'm moving on. Oof. These plants are making my life a bit harder. There we go. Now this will be interesting. I'm not really sure if I want to do this now or not. Um, ah, what the hell. Let's do it. You know, this is a communal of five Pezzalteria Metallicas. You see one, two, three, four, and over... Hmm, where is the fifth? Hiding inside of that cork bark. But you see, look how small this one is. And then compare it with this one that is basically an almost an adult if it is a male. It's crazy the difference. You are getting the roach first. So you don't escape when I'm not looking. Now second one. This roach is for you. There. On a nice hull, you see. Are you also interested? You the biggest one. Yeah, I will give you one big roach. Something like... No. Another attempt. Oh, there we go. 
there we go. Now the smallest one needs to get the roach because I also need you to, to grow. Hey, you're not hungry. Are you sure? Oh, there is the fifth one inside and I think that it grabbed the roach because it dropped the roach. The smallest tarantula is over there, but the fifth one grabbed the roach inside. Too bad that you can... Oh, here she is. She's actually coming out. <laughs> Look. There, it is a bit crowded inside of this enclosure. Hey, no. Go back, 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 up, 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 up. Oof, I think that this is the biggest one. Can you feel the difference? Look at this. And then check this tarantula, small one. Oh, crazy. So let me count once again. One, two, three, four, five. All five living together peacefully, at least for now. <laughs> and last one on this shelf, it is the Ibirapora diversipes. Even though I'm not really sure if I will be able to get anything. She's right there, but eh, she's usually iffy. Maybe today is her day. No, no, Roach, no, no, no. Look how he's trying to escape. Oh, there's the tar Hey, tarantula, that is not cool. Can you go back, please? I will poke you with camera. No, 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 no. Nah, nah. Oh, time out, time out. There she is. That is so uncool. No, no. Why you do this? Why you do this? I give you everything and this is how you repay me. <laughs> no, I need two hands. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. I'm gonna close the enclosure. No more escape for you. This is actually not the first time that she did something like that. She usually just bolts and just goes randomly in all sorts of directions. Mm, I'm so thankful that I'm done with all of these enclosures and that I didn't lose that diversipes. Now all that is left is the centipede and a bunch of these uh, tarantulas in plastic enclosures. And also sand spiders. Don't forget about sand spiders. Let's see how she is doing. And if she's down for action, there she goes. She's actually pretty thick, you see? Uh, before she starts to freak out. Uh, roach, quickly, quickly. Oh, no, 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 this is so wrong. Even though... What? You just try to escape, huh? Ooh, oh, there we go. She grabbed it now, this time. <laughs> At first I thought that maybe she's not interested, but it appeared that she was like hunting for it. So thankfully she got this. By the way, I dropped a new t-shirt, new merch, and it is based on this centipede. I'm gonna put back the cork bark, close it off and put the rock and we can continue. And it will go pretty quickly because these are usually easy to feed. You see, this is, I know this looks messed up, but this is just the mold. The tarantula is right there and this is Ceriopagopus lividus. Yeah. So one roach and we drop that. Completely wrong drop. Second time the charm. Oof. Boom. Bam. However you like it. Look at that fang action. And the blue coloration on legs. Mmm. This is a nice tarantula. Nice looking tarantula right there. Next one, we already fed this species in this video. This is a chromat um, Nandu chromatus. Yeah. So quick drop and we go or not. Oh, yes. Also, I noticed that there is another roach that was apparently on the roach that I dropped. So I'm going to take this out and oh, what is this? Thank you very much. We try to feed the sibling of this one. This is the Ciriopagopus minax, even though I'm not sure if I will be able to feed this one also. Because we cannot really see what is happening. Ah, what is happening inside of the tunnel. If the roach will... Woo! <laughs> Never mind, we got a takedown. Great. It was really messy, but it was worth it. Great. So, Ciriopagopus minax. One mean, mean tarantula. Sometimes. 
yeah and this is one monocentropus balfouri the reason why this one is being kept separately it should be a male and i'm waiting for it to mature yes 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 so one big roach that was one simple takedown right but look how these balfouris always look so soft right at least those white parts not the blue parts the white parts of the legs look so soft and nice so soft and squishy <laughs> okay okay three more stakes of two are left and this is the most boring stake out of three because we already seen this one two times this is the brachypelma hamori this is also a male and he needs to be fed Woo! at least it was a neat takedown okay Thank you, thank you. Well, this one is another Brahipelma, um, what am I saying? Lasiodora difficilis. And we also already seen two, but regardless, the takedown is coming. Pretty strong takedown, right? They are pretty good at that. Here inside, there should be a Scolopendra dalmatica, even though I haven't seen her in quite a while. Let me just lift this cork bark to see no, nothing. Oh! There it is, you can only see the, the fillers of the centipede. Hmm. Should I put a roach over there? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, oh, did she actually grab the tweezers or... Hmm, not sure, I'll try again. No, the centipede is gone, that was, it was supposed to be the perfect takedown. I blew it, how did I blew it? I'm sorry, I will leave this roach inside and hopefully she will grab it later. Damn, I almost had the perfect centipede feeding clip. And now for the finals, we have these three. These are the six eyed sand spiders. Hopefully it will be a decent finals. It is, it is not, ooh, ooh, I wanted to say it is not looking good, but then, oh, there we go. It grabbed it, sweet. Now I don't really know where the other two is. I think that this one is right there. Well, this one I have no idea, so I will shake the enclosure. It is here, you see? Come on, you really don't want to go out. Same deal, please. Even though I'm not really sure if it is in the mood after all that shaking. Look, there is a dead roach. <laughs> that is all that's left. A dried up husk. No, don't let it escape like that. It seems like that won't happen now. I will just close it off and let it catch the roach later. While this one, since I think that I see where it is, I will just drop the roach on top of that. Are you ready for the big finals? Too slow, buddy. Too slow. But I can bring you the roach once again. Oh, there we go. Another redemption with second try, although I'm not sure if it is holding it correctly. Can you like bite it properly, please? The roach will actually bite you back. If you continue fooling like this, come on, bite it. Bite it better, I mean. This one is wondering about carrying the roach underneath. Well, I think that I can end the video here. It was, I would say this was a success, a great success. Most likely the biggest feeding, as I said, the biggest feeding in quite a while, in recent years. Definitely biggest inside of this Dark Den and most likely in previous Dark Den. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, upload every Monday. So see you again next week. Bye.